Before you can make any changes to your images in WordPress, you need to know how to access them. So in this video, I'm going to cover the media library. The media library is where you upload, store, and edit all the images on your WordPress site. After logging into your site, in the left-hand navigation bar, hover over Media and click on Library. This is where you access all of your media files, including images, audio, video, PDFs, and any other media files that you have chosen to use on your site. At the top of your media library, you can change the way that your files are displayed, filter them by media type and upload date, select multiple files for deletion, and search for a file by name. By default, your files are displayed in grid view. This provides you with a large thumbnail preview of your images. If you'd like to view more information about an image, such as the upload date, file name, or the user who uploaded it, use this icon to switch to list view. You can access the same options regardless of which view you choose, but since most users typically prefer the default grid view, I'm going to switch back to that. You can use the drop-down that says All Media Items to view only a specific type of media. Click the drop-down and choose to view only images. This includes JPEG, PNG, and GIF files. Only videos. This includes MPEG, MOV, MP4, and WebM files. Or only audio, which includes MP3s, WAV files, and other audio formats. The next drop-down allows you to filter your media files based on the month they were uploaded. You can choose a specific month and year, or combine the date based filter with the file type filter and select only image files that were uploaded in April 2018, for example. The bulk select button allows you to select multiple media files and delete them all with one click. Simply click cancel selection to return to the media library. The last thing we'll cover in this video is the search feature. Click inside the search box and enter a keyword. WordPress will automatically begin searching your media files by name. Click the X to clear the search and return to all media items. It's really important to be descriptive when naming your files. A file name like this will be nearly impossible to search for. But if you prefix all of your logos with the word logo and provide a company name like this, they'll be much easier to search for in the future. Now that you understand the basics of the media library, let's move on to the next lesson. In case you don't have any existing images in your media library to work with, let's briefly talk about uploading images to your WordPress site. There are a few different ways that you can go about this, so let's jump in. Once again, we'll start on the media library page. The easiest way to upload images is to simply drag and drop them anywhere on this page. Just locate them on your computer, desktop, or whatever folder you've downloaded them to, Click, hold, drag them over the page, and release. You can upload just a single image or select multiple images to upload them all at once. This method only works when your media library is in grid view, not list view. If you'd rather use a file chooser to select your images, navigate to Media, Add New. Click on the Select Files button, select your images, and click Open. You'll see your images appear below the file drop area. You can also drag and drop images to the top half of this page in the area labeled Drop Files here. One additional way to add images to your WordPress site is by adding them directly to a post or page. We'll use a static page as an example. Navigate to Pages, All Pages. Click on the page that you'd like to insert the image on, and this will bring you to the Edit screen. Place your cursor inside the content area exactly where you want the image to appear. Once again, locate the image on your computer, click, hold, and drag and drop it inside the content area. Your image will be uploaded immediately and the Add Media screen will open. To add the image to your page, simply click the Insert Into Page button at the bottom. And that does it for uploading files, but there's one more thing I need to show you before we get into the actual image editing. So let me introduce you to the Edit Image screen. Before you can edit an image in WordPress, you need to locate the Edit Image button. This will take you to a new screen that is dedicated to making changes to your image. We'll make our first image edit in a second, but first, let's get familiar with this screen. From your media library, simply click on the image you'd like to edit. Underneath the large image thumbnail, click on the button that says Edit Image. 
This will take you to the image editing screen. At the top, you'll see a row of buttons. These are the various tools we'll be using in the next chapter to edit our images. Directly below that is the image itself. It's important to point out that the image here is not its full size. Think of this as an image preview. You'll be able to visualize your edits as you make them, but they aren't final until you click the Save button at the bottom. If you're not happy with the edits you made, simply click Cancel to discard the changes and keep the original image untouched. On the right hand side are a few additional settings you can use to make changes to your image. We'll cover these in the next chapter. Now that you know how to upload images and you understand your way around the media library, it's time to start editing your images.